All right, hello and welcome to another session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna. I'll be taking you through class today. Here's our disclaimer. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. So please make good choices based upon how you're feeling, where your body's at today. And we'll go ahead and get moving. We're gonna come to our feet. There's Jean. All right, feet just underneath the hips, palms in front of the chest. We're gonna do our breathing series here. Three times through. You're gonna breathe in as you reach up to overhead. Stretch up through the spine and exhale. Drop the arms down to the side. Very good. Twice more. Breathe and reach. And exhale, relax. Pull those shoulder blades back. Open through the chest. And last time. Pull that chin in. Lengthen up out of the spine and all the way down. Nice and relaxed. Fantastic. Let those arms be heavy at the side. Get a little kind of bounce in the hips and knees. And then we're just going to go into our gates of heaven here. Arms are heavy. Just getting some opening through the hips. And kind of start to coordinate with the breathing. So as I'm exhaling, arms are kind of slapping against the body. Very good. Fantastic. About 10 more seconds here. Let's get some good blood flow going. Very nice. From here, we're going to go into a side stretch. Go ahead and put one hand on the hip. Before we go straight to overhead, we're just going to kind of wake everything up. So you reach it across the body and back. Straight across and back. We're going to go a little bit higher each time. So now it's like I'm trying to reach over the head. A couple times there. And then when you feel ready now, we'll start to reach straight up overhead. Very nice. Down and across. As you go overhead, start to look up towards your hand. So as I reach overhead, turn the gaze. Let's go one more here. And then we're going to switch sides. Peer up and down. Fantastic. Hand on the opposite hip. Same idea. Just starting by shifting the hips around, reaching straight across. After about two at that height, we'll reach a little bit higher, like eyebrow height, back and across. And then when you're ready, we'll go about three to four directly overhead, following it with your gaze. So peer up towards your hand. Fantastic. All the way across and down. Let's get one more there. Up and down very nice go ahead and shake those arms out walk your feet in so that they're just underneath the hips toes are straight ahead hands on the thighs here we're going to breathe in tuck the chin to the chest and then gradually exhale as you slide the hands down the legs saying hello to the back of the body reaching down towards the toes when you get to where you're like okay that gives me a decent stretch breathe into the back of the rib cage for a couple of breaths still holding your strength in your legs, staying engaged through the core. And then when you're ready, push through their feet, tuck the hips under, gradually make your way up. Very nice. From here, we're gonna go arms up to overhead. And now we're gonna rotate the torso, peer over one shoulder, back to center, and peer over that other shoulder. Very good. Let's get about two to three times each direction. Stretch into the side and around. Very nice. Once more each way. Wonderful. And then go ahead and shake out those arms. Go a little sidestep with it, alternating which hands on top. Very good. Shoulders back and down as I open through the chest. Palms are facing forward. Very good. All right, from here, we're gonna go into a windmill. So arms are out to the side. My feet are about hip width apart. Actually, they're outside my hips. Make sure you're grounded into those feet. So heels firmly planted. We're gonna have a long spine this time, sending the hips back as you reach towards your opposite leg. Squeeze the glutes, standing tall, bowing forward, hinging over. Let's get about three to five on each side. Just gradually reaching a little bit farther. Or once you kind of find the spot that challenges you, just stay with that spot side to side. 
Very nice. Give about one more each direction. And when you finish each side, go to walk your feet in. We're going to go into our alternating knee to elbow. So this requires a little bit of balance. If you need to go near a countertop or anything, stand up tall, arms out to the side, lift up through the core as you bring the knee towards that opposite elbow, down and across, alternating sides here, up and touch, or at least come as close as you can. And as you shift your weight, pull up through the midline, keep those hips nice and square. Very good. Not focused on speed here, but just nice, steady, consistent movements. We're gonna go about 15 more seconds here. Very nice. In and touch, step it across. Fantastic. Let's get about one more each side. Very good. And then our seal jacks, you can either jump or step. Let's open up those shoulders and chest. So either stepping here or we can do a nice little hop. We're gonna be doing two rounds of this. So if you wanna save the hops for next round, by all means, 15 more seconds. Next, we're gonna be going into either a march or a skip. So we'll have three exercises here to cycle, get a little bit more blood flow going. And two, one, and here we go. Either your march, you can pause if you'd like, or add that little hop for the skip. Very good. There you go. Layers are starting to come off. 15 seconds. Opposite knee, opposite arm comes up in front. Two, one, and bringing it down to a walk. All right, instead of the windmill this time, we're gonna reach up to overhead and just nice and smooth. You're gonna make a nice big sweeping circle, reaching down towards the toes in front of you, reaching up, engage those glutes and peer up to overhead. We're gonna go three times around and then switch directions. So again, nice and gradual. Fire the glutes as you shift those hips forward and look to the ceiling or maybe just slightly behind your head at the top. After three, same thing other way to start to change directions, taking it back around. Nice big sweeping circles, fantastic. Beautiful, one more. There you go, get everything squared away. Walk those feet back in, and now we'll go back to our alternating knee to elbow, lifting up through the core. And whenever you're ready, opposite knee towards the opposite elbow. We spend about 45 seconds on this one, 30 seconds on the next two after this. So this one's a little bit slower, a little bit more focus. Getting the right side to talk to the left side. Focus on that balance, lifting up through the midline and the hips. Very good. 20 seconds left. Good job. Keep that chest tall, shoulders stacked over the hips when you go back to upright and then elbow towards the opposite knee. Fantastic. Let's get about one more each side, moving well. Fantastic. And then either the step jacks for the seal or you can take it up to overhead, either stepping or a nice little hop. 30 seconds here, very good. Good job breathing. Stepping as you need, 10 more seconds. Marching or our skip next. If you're doing the march, let's do that march and punch. Three, two, one. What I mean is our opposite arm goes across the body, knee is up, or if you're looking for a little bit more higher heart rate, you can add that hop in with it. You can punch across the body with that hop as well, that little skip there. Very nice, Give about 10 more seconds here. Two, one. And relax, fantastic. Go ahead and grab a drink of water and then meet me down on the floor.
All right. We're gonna come down to the floor, a little bit of stretching. We have some single leg work coming up in our first circuit. So we're gonna stretch out our hips, get our bodies nice and nimble. Before we go on to all hands, roll those wrists around. Just wake those up a little bit. We don't have a whole lot on the wrist today, but it always never hurts. Rolling through. Very good. And you can go palms down, fingers towards you. Nice wide hand prints. And just gently rock back, rock side to side. Keeping those forearms nice and long, stretching through. Very good, shake that out. From here, we're gonna turn the hands, fingers back away from the body, place those hands right underneath the shoulders. We're gonna start with the knees together here and just gently rock the hips side to side, getting a nice stretch in the side of the hips. Oftentimes you'll feel it a little bit in your lower back. Oh, it's a quadruped hip rock here, rocking the hips side to side. Fantastic. Next, what we're going to do is, again, placing the hands, walk the knees out just a little bit. And now we're going to uh, lengthen one leg out to the side and gently rock the hips back towards the heel, opening that inner thigh. So you'll rock forward and gently rock back as you reach the arms nice and long. Between three and five, and then we'll switch legs. Just nice and gentle. Feel that inner thigh opening. Sometimes you'll feel it on that lower outer leg. Got one more. Very nice. And then same thing, other direction. Keep the leg out to the side. Reach long, rocking it back. Forward and back. Good job, continue to add the upper body into it just a little bit, just simply by reaching that arm out in front of you, you'll get a little bit of a stretch into the lat side of the body. Got one more here. Fantastic, go ahead and walk that leg back in. We're gonna go into down dog next, placing the hands under the shoulders, splay the fingers nice and wide, grip those finger pads down, turn the toes under, dry those hips up, and then you're gonna gently rock back Driving the head between the arms, lengthening through the torso here. Rocking forward and rocking back. On this next one, go ahead and hang out and pedal out those heels. Wake up the calves. Very good. And if you're all right in this plank position, you're going to place the hands flat once again, and you're going to walk, pick a side. So I've got my left foot. I'm bringing it as close as I can to my left hand, but where I can have that heel planted and that shin vertical. From here, we're just going to gradually rock through the hips, opening up. So we'll go hip circles here, three to five one way. And then you'll just reverse the direction and rock them around, circle it around three to five the other way. Again, front heel planted down, chin nice and vertical. Fantastic. And then when you're ready, same thing other side, walk that foot back and then step your other foot forward. Heel down as well as you can, opening through that hip, back knee comes off the ground and then you pivot around here, three to five each way. Very nice. And reverse directions when you're ready. Three to five the other way. Rocking it side to side. All right, so whichever foot is forward, go ahead and bring the back knee down to the floor. We're gonna come into the bottom of a lunge. So if you need to put a blanket or a pillow, anything underneath that back knee, and then kind of walk that front foot in. So again, the shin's vertical. We don't wanna walk it too far in, keep that heel planted. From here, interlace the hands stretch up nice and tall and now we're going to shift the hips forward engaging those glutes and then turn your torso towards your front leg and kind of shift back out of it lengthen engage the back glute as you shift forward and rotate towards that front leg once more shifting back lengthen shift forward and we're opening that back hip flexor 
Very good. Bring the arms down for a second. Shake them out. If you're still okay on that back knee, we're going to add a little bit of a tricep opener to it. So you'll, whichever knee is down. So it's my left knee, left arm goes up, bend the elbow. Watch your posture here. So head up, chin in. You can grab that elbow. You can either hold here or add a side bend. So laterally flex towards the front leg. You oftentimes feel it all through the side of the body here. We'll go three to five. And then we're gonna switch sides. Very good, once more. Fantastic. Go ahead and come on down, place the hands, switch the leg in front. Very nice, place it nice and far so that that heel can be planted, shin vertical, and we're gonna start with the hands interlaced, stretching straight up, shifting that back hip forward, and we're gonna rotate towards the front leg. So I come out of it, shift into it, turn the torso like you're trying to look over the shoulder. Again, rock back, lengthen as you shift forward, fire that glute in the back and turning to the side. Fantastic. Relax those arms down, add the triceps. So ribs down, chin in, reach up, bend the elbow, grab that elbow. And either you can just stay tall or add those side bends, three to five. Very good. One to two more. Woo. Focus on that balance. And then shake it out. Come on out of that lunge and we're gonna make our way onto our back. All right, a couple more hip stretches and then we'll get ready for that first circuit. So on the back, we're gonna start by pulling both knees into the chest, just kind of waking up that low back a little bit more, rock yourself side to side. And then go ahead and lengthen out your left leg. Actively push that left thigh towards the floor. Pull the right knee towards your right shoulder. Open up your groin a little bit more and then we'll roll the ankle around on that right foot. Lift the foot, point the toes up and down. Very good. And then switch directions. Same thing other way. After you finish those ankle rolls, grab both hands onto that right knee and just gently sweep the knee across the body. Now we're looking to open up through that glute just a little bit here. So still keeping your hip and shoulder on that side down. We're not going to a full spinal twist here. Just looking to isolate that glute muscle a little bit. And you can glide that knee up and down, feel for any catches or uh, stiffness along that hip capsule. Fantastic. Go ahead and straighten out that right leg. Again, actively pushing it down towards the floor. Pull the left knee towards your left shoulder and we'll go into those ankle rolls. Three to five each way. Switch directions when you're ready. And then once you're through with those ankle rolls, gently sweep the knee across the body. Same hold of that glute on the opposite leg. Again, feel free to glide and slide the leg up and down, just feeling for any little tension areas. Fantastic. Go ahead and straighten out that leg. We're going to go figure four now on the opposite side. So right foot comes to meet that left thigh. Lift it up, hug it in, and same hold of that outer right hip. Breathe. You can just hang out here if it's fairly intense, just focus on breathing here, or you can add that left leg into it where you'll extend the foot straight up, point the foot away, pull it towards your face, and then bend that knee back down, hugging that leg in as you bend it down. Go two more cycles there if you'd like. Extend, point, lift, and bend. Fantastic. Last one. Up, point. Pull it towards your face and then back down. Wonderful, let's switch sides. Same thing, other leg. Cross it over. Start by hugging in. Just being gentle on that left hip, breathing. 
And then when you're ready, we'll add about three flosses of that sciatic nerve on the right. So extending it up, point the foot. We're just encouraging it to move and glide, keeping it moving along the back of the leg. Hopefully keep any kind of sciatic type of symptoms at bay. A lot of that just comes from our nerves get stuck in the fascia, the covering that runs along all of our muscles and in the body, and then it doesn't slide and glide quite as well as it used to. All right, folks, once you finish that one, go ahead and relax, roll onto your side. We're gonna stretch out those quads. So you know, stay on an outstretched arm or up on the elbow, grab that foot, pull the heel towards the glute. All right, so the first circuit that we're getting prepped for here today is gonna have some single leg work, alternating with getting on and off the ground or anyone um, that can't get down and off the ground quite quickly, just let me know. I'll show you what the alternatives are. But once we come to our feet, we're gonna be going left leg, reverse lunge or giant step. Go ahead and switch sides on the thigh stretch. Then we'll come onto the floor for a bridge pose which I'll go ahead and show you here. You can either do glute bridges throughout or you'll hold the pose for 30 seconds. It's where you drive your hips up, try to interlace the hands under the body and you wanna pull the chin in as well. So we're firing the glutes upwards of 30 seconds. And then we'll come down, make our way back up to our feet to do the lunge on the opposite leg. And then you'll either stay tall, you can use bands for a pull apart or you'll make your way back down to the floor for lying flies. A lying fly is face down, chin in, arms out to the side. You're just simply like pushing up against the sky while you drive your shoulder blades together and engage those glutes. So I just up and squeeze, like I'm trying to push up against the ceiling, okay? So that's our lying fly. Or you can stay tall and stay up and use a band for the pull aparts. All right, once you finish quad stretches on both sides, let's go ahead and come on up to your feet. We're gonna warm up the squat a little bit before we go straight into those lunges. And I'll also show the options for standing. If you don't wanna get on and off the ground. All right, once you come on up, set the feet about hip width apart. Good time if you wanna grab onto a chair or a countertop and just nice and gradual sink back, pushing the knees out, just generally warm up that squat position, drive into your heels and stand. Let's get between three and five here, just sinking back. Very good, and nice and smooth. Heels stay planted that whole time. Knees push out, chest up, and straight up. Fantastic. So with the lunges, you could do a tandem stance like you're standing on a tightrope if you'd like, or we'll be working on that giant step Back and forward, full lunge if you're confident for it. Knee comes to the floor, front heel stays planted as I come up and forward, all right? So we'll start with the left leg forward. I'm gonna be getting on and off the ground for this class, but if you don't wanna do the bridge pose, the option would be a good morning where you hinge over and stand tall. So we're opening the hips from a standing position. Then we'll come back up to our feet. We'll do either that tandem stance, giant step or lunge on the right leg and then either get down on our bellies for those lying flies, or like I said, if you wanna stay up on your feet, you can use a band and do 30 seconds of band pull aparts. We'll have 15 seconds to transition in between. So just kind of do the best you can and we're gonna be doing three rounds total. Questions before we start? And I'll plan to go unweighted on the first round. You can do all the rounds unweighted if that single leg works pretty challenging for you, or if you feel pretty confident with it, now you can start to hold a weight up at the chest. All right, folks, if there's no questions, we're gonna start here in about just under 10 seconds. That left foot forward, chest nice and tall, grip the toes and two, one, here we go. Back and down if you're doing that full lunge, pull through that front foot. Very good. Nice controlled, yep. And you can totally use the arms similarly and reach out like a squat and then up and forward, back and down, chest tall, up and forward. Fantastic, maybe one more, good control and up. Beautiful, go ahead and rest and rotate. Like I said, you can either stay standing or join me down on the floor for that bridge pose. 
As you make your way down, shoulder blades back and down, bend the knees, flat feet, two, one, here we go. Pull that chin in. You wanna to try to make like that triple chin in the front. That's gonna allow that back of the neck to open as well. And we're just waking up the glutes, no pinching in that low back. If you do have a pinch, just come down out of it just a little bit. 10 seconds left here, squeeze, breathe. And three, two, one, go ahead and come out of that bridge. We're making our way back up for the lunge with the right leg forward. Nice job. So place those feet, standing nice and tall. Two, one, and whenever you're ready, controlling down, up and forward. So again, arms assist, I can kind of reach out and then like, it's almost like I'm trying to swim through. Reach and then propel up. If you had to, you could also go hand on the thighs. But ideally, we try to use our leg strength as well as we can. Driving through that front heel, up and forward, very good. That's the way, yep, just a little bit longer step if you can, Diane, and rest and rotate, beautiful. Either grab your bands for standing pull aparts or face down on the floor this time. Palms up if you're on the floor, chin in, two, one, here we go. Whether you're using the bands or here on the floor, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Looking straight ahead, halfway through. Almost there. And three, two, one, rest. Beautiful, let's take 30 seconds in between rounds. That's the end of round one. We'll grab a drink and then we'll be back to that left leg. Nice job. So either just stay focused on that good movement or if you're like, hey, I feel confident with these lunges, I wanna hold a little bit of weight, then feel free to hold some weight at your sides or up at your chest. All right, left leg to start, place that foot and three, two, one, here we go. Controlling that knee back. Nice long step if you're doing that giant step. Don't worry about that knee all the way down. There you go. Stepping back, front shin vertical. Good job, 10 seconds. And two, one, and rotate. Either good mornings or bridge pose next. There you go. All right, I'll tell you the halfway point on this one. Chin in, two, one, here we go, up and hold. Great time to just relax those eyes. Kind of relax the brow, chin in, breathe. Focus on staying long through the spine as you fire the glutes. Good job, 10 seconds left, we're over halfway. Two, one, and gradually come out. Make your way back up. Lunges or single leg work on that right leg. This is our quick transition here. So place that right foot chest tall, and whenever you're ready. As always, if you don't feel quite ready, just wait till you are. Good mechanics. And keep everybody nice and healthy here. Very good. Try to have your eyes straight ahead. Beautiful. And two, one, and rotate. Very good. Either down on the floor for lion flies or those band pull aparts. I'm gonna stay up with you all this time, do the pull aparts. And three, two, one, here we go. Reaching straight out, back and in. Good 
Good job. Nice long arms. So arms are straight, opening through the chest, ribs down. I mean, I don't want to arch as I open. So squeeze the midline, squeeze the lower body. That's your nice, strong base of support. And two, one, and relax. Fantastic. That's the end of two. We'll take 30 seconds and we'll be back on that left leg. Nice job. All right, 15 seconds to go. Starting with that left leg forward. Place the foot, grip the toes, and two, one. Here we go. Controlling. Grip the toes on that front foot and drive that heel down like you're propelling yourself up and forward. Good job, halfway through. Nice, Jean. There you go, Diane, yep. Give me one more, two, one, and rotate. Down for the glute bridge. Very nice. As you lie on your back, always set those shoulder blades. Kind of pull them together, feet flat, two, one. Come on up when you're ready. Kind of make that triple chin, lengthening the back of the neck. Pulling the shoulder blades together. Fire those glutes. Good job, 12 seconds left. Breathe. Feel those hamstrings activating as well. Two, one, and relax out of that. Very good, making your way up. Last time of the single leg work, right foot forward. All right, place that right foot, grip those toes, and two, one, here we go. Looking straight ahead, moving with control. Nice. Control, yep. Working that balance as you step back, driving that heel down. Fantastic, 10 seconds left. And three, two, one, and rest. Very good, just the pull aparts or those lying flies. So you can stay tall or meet me down on your bellies. Engage those glutes, palms up, and here we go. like Superman here trying to take flight off our floor, off our yoga mats. <laughs> Breathe, we're over halfway. Working that back side of the body. Couple more. Two, one, and relax. Fantastic. While we're down here, let's go ahead and just roll onto the back for a second. We're just gonna stretch out that back a bit more. Or if you're up and you want to come down for a moment, we're going to go double knee to chest and rock side to side. Everything feels good there. Then we're going to go two knee twist, arms out the side, like kind of like your scarecrow arms here. Knees are together and then I'll gently bring both legs to one side. Look over that opposite shoulder and then up and together and across to the other side. Let's get about three on each side. Just gradually going a little bit deeper in that twist as you feel. Our next circuit, we're gonna be working on some core strength a little bit more with some side planks. We're gonna be doing four rounds on each side. If you can hold for a full 20 seconds for four rounds, shoot for that. I'll try to give you every 10 seconds. So we'll hold upwards of 20 seconds on one side then we'll have 10 seconds to switch, 20 seconds on the other. If you hold for 10, you'll have 20 to rest, okay? And we'll be doing that back and forth for a total of four rounds. 
So you can just stay down here on the floor, stacking the elbow underneath the shoulder. You could be on your knees for that side plank, or you can be up on the toes and holding here, okay? If you need to elevate it, then come up on the elevation here and holding just like so. Make sure you have a sturdy base of support. All right, so I'll be demoing on the floor. It's just four minutes total. Like I said, we're going side to side. After every 20 seconds, I'll tell you every 10. So let's go ahead and pick the side you want to start on. Stack that elbow or place the hand and two, one, here we go. Up and hold. Keeping everything nice and square. That's 10 seconds. Breathe and hold, looking straight ahead, two, one, and there's 20, fantastic. Switching sides, 10 seconds between sides. As you roll over, stack that elbow right into the shoulder. People tend to go wide and here we go, up and hold. And you can reach straight up to overhead like I am here. You can place the hand on your hip, place it along the side, just continuously lift up. Good, there's 15 seconds down. Nice, everybody. Two, one, and rest. That's round one. We're doing that three more times. Swing around, back to your first side. Two, one, here we go. Up and hold. Fantastic, that's 10. Watch that top shoulder tends to want to round forward. So keeping it pulled back. Two, one, and rotate. Fantastic. Middle of set two. Swing it around. Again, elbow right underneath the shoulder. Two, one, here we go. Second half of round two. Good job. There's 10 seconds. Chin in. Lift up out of that bottom shoulder. Don't let yourself sink. Pulling against gravity. Two, one, and that's two rounds down. Two to go. Stack that elbow and starting three. Up and breathe. Good job. Don't let yourself look down towards the floor. So eyes up straight ahead. Shoulders stacked over one another. That's 15 seconds. Two, one, 20. Fantastic. If you need to come down in between and come back up, that's all right. And here it is, second half of set three. Hold and breathe. Ten seconds down. Very nice. And twenty. Fantastic. Just once more on each arm. Hanging in there. Two, one. Here we are. Good job. Stay focused here. Good quality positions all the way through. Side planks are fantastic for our spinal health. We're 12 seconds in. Keep those obliques strong. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job, folks. Last one. Two, one, come on up. Final 20 seconds of work on the planks. Good job, up and breathe, that's 10 seconds down. Lifting and holding, two, one, all done there, fantastic. Let's come onto our hands and knees. We're gonna stretch out that upper body just a little bit from a child's pose position as we prep for this last set. So we'll go toes together, walk those knees out, and then walk your hands straight out. You're gonna drop those hips back, drop the head between the arms. And then just focus your breath here in the back side of the rib cage, like you're trying to breathe and expand the back of the ribs. A lot of times we only use part of our lungs, so we want to try to 
Get the air and get the oxygen to all the different parts of the lungs. One more nice deep breath here. Exhale, drop a little bit closer to the ground. And then go ahead and come on up and we're gonna walk the hands to one side. So go child's pose, side stretch. Walk both hands over, take your inside arm, reach it nice and long, and then drop back from here. You're not gonna drop down as low, but you'll just feel the stretch in a little bit different position. about two more breaths here and then we'll walk the hands to the opposite side. Fantastic. We're going to walk the hands around. Same thing, other side. Inside arm reaches long and drop those hips back. So we have one more circuit left here. It's going to be five sets or 10 minutes. You don't have to do all five. You can go every other and do three rounds. We're going to be working for 40 seconds either a squat or a thruster if you want to get a little more overhead work. Let's go ahead and warm up that mid back a little bit for some overhead work. We're going to go hand behind the head, elbow to elbow, and let's get about five rotations here on each side, elbow to elbow and rotate. So it'll be 40 seconds of either some squatting or like I said, that thruster to overhead. And we'll have 20 seconds to rest. From there, we're gonna be working either a single arm deadlift, alternating arms for 40 seconds, switch arms when you're ready on these rotations, or you could do a high pull, finish it with that elbow nice and high if that's appropriate for you. High pulls are not ideal for anyone that tends to have that forward roll posture. And if you tend to get some pinging in the front of the shoulder, that's usually a sign that you have a little bit of some impingement symptoms going on. And then that high pull can kind of cause some irritation there. So if you are someone that knows that you have some forward set shoulders, some issues there, just stick with that deadlift, okay? The other option, again, if you're fairly advanced with it, you know the movement, you could do a dumbbell snatch here. Okay, so the three movements are either that deadlift, alternating arms, okay? The high pull is where you deadlift and bring the elbow up above the shoulder. Again, we'll alternate arms. Or the snatch is where the elbow goes up and then you punch the weight up to the ceiling. So screen kind of cuts me off there. It looks like this from the standing. I go elbow high and then I turn it over and I finish punching it out to the ceiling. So from my knees, it looks like this. Elbow high and switch. It's one of the more advanced movements and so on. So just be smart with what you're doing. I'll show all three, starting with the deadlift. Round two, I'll do the high pull. Round three, I'll move into the snatch. And then I'll finish out with a snatch throughout. Just make adjustments as you need, okay? That's our second exercise though. The first one, you can either do your squats with or without weight or squat down and up to overhead for our thruster. Questions? All right, if not, we're gonna get started here in about 20 seconds. Set one, like I said, we're gonna be doing a total of five. So just join us when you're ready. We work for upwards of 40, rest for 20. And feel free if you wanna go unweighted this first round on those squats, you can, or use some weight. Three, two, one, and here we go. Knees back, chest up, breathe as you move. Very good. And just depending upon your energy levels today, maybe 30 seconds is better for you. Here's 20 right now. Give you a little bit more rest. I'll try to tell you 20, 30, and then obviously 40. That's our 30 second mark. Heels stay planted, knees push out on those squats. And two, one, and rotate. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Deadlifts or high pulls are next. I'll show the deadlift on this first round. I'm gonna put the weight just nice and vertical here. Wider base stance, so our sumo stance, long spine, hinging at the hips. Two, one, here we go. Fire the glutes, standing straight up. Good job. Yep, very nice. See some of you doing that high pull off the bat, very good. Just elbow straight up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. And it's appropriate. I feel like you're using those hips just a little bit to get that little upward drive. 20 seconds in. 
Very nice. Using that upper body, keep that weight close to the body. Don't let it swing out wide. That's 30 seconds. And two, one, and rest. Good job. That's set one. We back to our squats or thrusters in 15 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Feet are maybe just a little bit closer, about hip width apart, slight toe out. And two, one, here we go. Knees out, chest up, breathe as you move. Nice. Great squats, Diane, that looks smooth. Strong, Jean. Good job, and eyes straight ahead. If you're doing that thrust, you have our ribs down as you push up. We're 20 seconds in. Good job, that's 30 seconds. Pacing through it, very good. And two, one, and rotate, beautiful. Feel free to stick with that deadlift like we just did or I'm gonna show that high pull this round. Wide base stance, long spine here. Knees push out, two, one, here we go. Driving the hips, elbow comes high. Very good. I tend to stare at the screen throughout, but once you know what you're doing, chin in, as you hinge over, look down towards the floor. Then when you stand tall, have your gaze straight ahead. Nice. Good job, that's 30 seconds. A strong hip drive, two, one, and that's the end of round two. Good job. Two down, three to go. All right, 10 seconds. We've got those squats or thrusters, your choice. Place those feet. Two, one, and here it is. Taking your time as you find that bottom position. Sink back, push the knees out. Pushing high to overhead. Beautiful. There you go, ladies, good. 20 seconds down. Beautiful, chest up, heels planted. There's 30 seconds. If you're using weights, don't let them pull you forward. And rotate. Awesome job. All right, third set, either sticking with those deadlifts or high pulls, or I'm gonna move into that snatch position next. Long spine, hinge at the hips, two, one, here we go. So my elbow still comes high, just like that high pull, and I turn it over, I punch it up to overhead. Elbow comes up, turn it over and punch. Good job. Fantastic. So I see sometimes, uh, Jean, you're dropping that elbow down a little bit. we ideally want to go elbow up, it stays up, and then you turn it over from there. There you go, yep. Little different than like that single arm clean and jerk. Two, one, and that's the end of three. Very good. I get, it's probably a little awkward with that jug of water, so. If it feels better to go to your shoulder with the elbow down, you can do that clean and jerk. That works great too. All right, folks, start around four already. Two, one, and here we are. Anytime you need a round off, take a round off, come back strong. Lots of breathing here. Normal, especially with these thrusters, they really shoot our heart rate up. So you wanna. Use the breathing, focus your attention. 
25 seconds down. Ideally, every rep looks the same. We're over 30 seconds in. Two, one, and transition. Nice work. Into four. All right, 10 seconds. Deadlift, high pull or snatch, two, one. Here we go, hinging over. Nice. Elbow high. There you go, ladies, good work. Breathing through. Keep that spine nice and long. 20 seconds down. And still focus to fire that backside. Squeeze the glutes as you stand. That's 30 seconds in. Keep breathing. Two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Either call it there or hang out with us for this last round. All right, everybody. 10 seconds. Squats or thrusters. Feet about hip width apart, two, one, and here we go. Sinking back, breathe through. Very good. Eyes straight ahead, chest tall. And encourage yourself on this last round. Let go of any judgments, like you should be doing more or faster or whatever it is you feel. Fantastic, that's 30 seconds. We have 10 seconds left if you're going that full 40. And two, one, all done there, beautiful. Just the deadlifts, high pulls or snatch. Finish with a cool down stretch. 10 seconds. All right. And three, two, one, flat back, long spine. Here we go. Nice job. Hinging at the hips, saying a load of those hamstrings. Driving through. Good job, 20 seconds in. Thirty seconds down. Fantastic. And three, two, one. Give yourself a round of applause. Woo! Nice job, crew. Grab a sip of water, and we're gonna stay on our feet for the cool down stretch. Nice job, just step it out a little bit, bring that heart rate back down. We're gonna make our way to the wall or the doorway. We're gonna start by opening up through the chest. So if you're against the wall, we'll do the finger curl up the wall, hands about shoulder height, stand about a foot away from the wall, walk the hands straight up like you're walking your hands up towards 12 o'clock on an old school clock. Now we're going to go inside leg steps forward, walk the hands back behind you and place that hand flat on the wall, then just gently turn away. Nice deep breaths, ribs stay down. We're going to hold about 20 seconds here. Gradually turning into it a little bit more, a couple more breaths. Very good, start to walk the hands back up to 12 o'clock and then walk them back down to the shoulder. And then we'll turn it around, same thing other side. Hand right about shoulder height, walk her up. Inside leg steps forward, walk it back and then sink in, turn away, good job. Breathe.
Good job, everybody. 10 more seconds. Two, one, and walking it back, walking it in. Fantastic. All right, let's go behind the back stretch next. So we're gonna go interlace the hands, stretch out those arms. I have my feet nice and wide here, play in those knees. So bend to those knees, send those hips back. And if you feel confident here, pull those arms up to overhead and you just kind of rotate yourself side to side. And just some reminders for those that are here on the live class, Thursday class, it's Thanksgiving this week. So we're canceling Thursday and we'll have this nine o'clock and 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock at noon for the East Coast on Wednesday. Good job, come on up, swing those arms back and forth. We're gonna finish out with a quad stretch and then figure four for those hips once again. So feel free to stay up here, lifting up balance, grab that heel. One of my favorite stretches. When I've neglected this stretch is when I started to have some knee issues. So I'm always a big proponent of it, keeping those quads stretched out, lengthen through those hip flexors. And relax, same thing, other side. And grabbing that foot, pulling that heel towards the glute. And then always watching not to arch that back. So think ribs down, core engaged, about five to 10 more seconds here. Very good, and relax. Either sit in a chair or come down on the floor. One more stretch. After that single leg work, we wanna open up those outer hips. So you can lie all the way down like we did the first time or just simply cross the foot over, walk this foot in. And go figure four stretch here. Breathe. And here you can either just stay stationary or just gently rock the hips side to side. There you go. Fantastic. And same thing, other side. Switch it up, cross it over, walk it in. All right, everybody, great job today. Weather is cooling down, so don't take your eye off your hydration. Keep your bodies hydrated. Your spine alone, those discs in your spine are about 70% water. So if we're dehydrated, we lose that space and that can lead to some chronic types of pain. So hydration is one of the best things you can do for your body's health. Otherwise, sleep, keep yourself grounded and would hope to see you all on Wednesday. Take care.